I wish to confirm that I will be speaking. I've, I've accepted the invitation to be a guest speaker at a webinar, special webinar on how to score the highest marks in your SAT test or exam or any other assessment. Because a lot of people have asked questions. If you ever had the opportunity of reading the Daily Mail in 2008, August, yeah, you can still go and get it now. You can Google it. It's still there at the Daily Mail website. How did a six-year-old boy write the same exam as 16-year-olds in the country and score the high, one of the highest marks in the most difficult subjects of all, mathematics? His name is Israel. You can Google it. And it's the Daily Mail, August 2008. It's there for you to see. How are they able to pass? Meanwhile, 16-year-olds were struggling with the exam. In fact, some adults struggle with GCSE math. So you need to know, know the secret. It's not a mystery. It's a well-trodden path. Anybody can pass it. To prove it, after Israel passed it in 2008, look at this. This is the e London's Evening Standard. The front page cover. I want you to go, please, check it again. August 2010. Her name is D. Ali. How can a five-year-old girl from an inner city um, a resident, because most people say inner city students are the poorest performers, write the maths exam, score one of the highest in the country, why there were 300,000 boys and girls that are 16 year olds that could not pass the exam. There are clear secrets. If you follow the principles and the strategies, you get exactly the same thing. So, again, you can go straight to the London Evening Standards website now as I'm talking to you. Prove it. Google it. Write her name down. D. D-E-E. -E, the surname is Ali. Pass the GCSE at the age of five. Just five. For example, they're supposed to be reaching at 16 by the branches in the country. Uh, you, you can pick up the writing um, publication here. It says, math is easy. It's just a game of numbers. She sees it as a game. What were the real strategy? How was she able to get that? The BBC website still has it now. You can check that as well. Because this is BBC website. Can you see? Why is it that there are some students pass and others don't? This is 2006. Six-year-old twins pass GCSE. It's still there. You can pick it up. So you need to know that writing exam does not have to be an uncertainty. There are certain parts that are proven. Well, trodden parts. If you follow those parts, you get exactly the same result. That's the reason why you need to click right below now and register for the webinar. It's a one-off and it's the first webinar we're having exclusively dedicated to SATs and the strategies anybody can use to top the class is anybody, irrespective of your IQ, irrespective of your gender, irrespective of your past performance. It really doesn't matter whether you think you're tall or short Whatever anybody has told you before is trivial. You just need to follow the same principles that they, they've, that these students have followed. Look at here. This is Tola Kier. Tola Rockley. Uh, uh, currently, can you see this is the male, Oxford male, Jesse Jackson, speaking to them there. All the people, top Ox, uh, um, students and ended up in Oxford. So why was it that these same students were able to achieve this feat and others are struggling with it? So go to the Oxford Mail website, you can Google it, and then get the full benef uh, um, benefit and confirm with your own eyes that these things are possible. This was um, um, August 2011. You can still see here A-level successes. Why is it that children, young, can distinguish themselves? Adults are prepared to be trained can as well. This is a video on GMTV. It's viral. How can an 8-year-old, 8-year-old, boy and a girl, pass the University of Cambridge Advanced Mathematics. And, and they still live to tell, tell about the story. And eventually went out and got uh, scholarships to the top uh, schools and colleges in the United Kingdom. This is the 1st of March, 2010. This is the Times newspaper. Again, you can go to the website and just click, uh, um, Google this and verify that it is possible. These are just normal, ordinary children don't have a special diet, don't have special skills, don't have anything special. They follow step by step, applying in the video, although that's still exclusively available to just EIE members. But now, these facts are going to be explained for the first time in the webinar. Here, the scholar at 9. This is the Daily Express, September 2007. 
Google it, pick it up, it's here. Scholar at nine, whisk kid, goes to uh, college, goes to high school. The Telegraph, you can pick that up again, September the 6th, 2007. Scholarship for girl who passed GCSE at the age of seven. Why do we have certain group of people passing it and others failing it. It was not meant to be that way. Now, look at the London Evening Standard again saying, this six-year-old, this year, listen to this, this year, will write this exam when she was interviewed and tested independently by journalists from Evening Standard because they wanted to find out exactly what happened or, or how they do it. She so exuded confidence and what she said and what she was able to do, demonstrated to the journalists and they wrote a story about it. Evening Standard saying six year old girl is studying A level, advanced level. That's exam written by people that want to go to university. So at the age of 19, that's when you write advanced level. But the Evening Standard independently came out, came to a conclusion that a six year old it will ax the advanced level mathematics. So a difficult level and a difficult subject. I, I shared this briefly. I know the invitation came on the back of this. I shared this briefly when I was invited to the House of Lords last year, 1st of July. And I, I was talking essentially about the limitless power of the human mind and how to tap into it. This is the head teacher of one of the top schools in the country. And you can see the Evening Standard um, 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 journalist. You see Israel Winsy. You see Israel Winsy here passes GCSE at the age of six. Went on this year to get two scholarships to the most competitive school and it's been lined up by even other top colleges. So it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you live, you can easily top the class. And here this Voice magazine getting 100% in the test. 100% in the test. That's the reason why if you attend the webinar, you are guaranteed 100% improvement in your grade. You can pick that up. It's in the voice. Again, you can go to the voice website. This is Phoebe from Barking at Dagnam to GCSE at the age of eight and still aced it. You've got the Guardian here. The Guardian newspaper says a class act achieved remarkable results. This is the Guardian. So you can pick it up. I'm showing everybody the proof, infallible proof that your brain is not as dumb as some people may have informed you if you know how. This is from the evening sun that says GCSE Hot house kids able to pass GCSE at a very young age. You got this here. If you read the star, GCSE are kids tough. Just, just make it. I'm um, making that uh, crystal. And this is Jude here looking at the mass manual. Essentially, what aided him, what assisted him. One of the earliest publications written by the same kids that have passed this exam and made available publicly now for the first time. This is the. Vice Principal, that is the Vice Chancellor or the Principal of King's College, London. John, this is straight out of CNN. So it's, it's, if anybody is uh, doubting this, in the discussion when we chatted at King's College, London, we were talking essentially about achievement and overachievement. He was physically present when the, the child prodigies were rewarded by the President of Liberia. Again, if you if you read local news, this sort of news, five-year-old passes GCSE. Five-year-old passes GCSE, so it's not a few, it's not a tail, it's happening. I, I made earlier reference that Mass Manual been featured, reviewed, discussed, one well, most discussed publication by children ever written. The Mathematics Manual by student for students. Something that we are going to discuss there, and we're going to uh, really shed light on the real secret. Here you got Obama, Michelle Obama was in the United Kingdom and needed to see taller, discuss with taller and finer. How, in spite of your background, were you able to achieve? She wanted to see children from inner city achieve, and it's still here, still right now, on, on, uh, on um, CNN webpage. You can Google it, Obama congratulates, or Obama demonstrates commitment to inner city education, telling you that the children in inner city do not have somehow some inferior brain. They don't. If they follow the steps, they are able to get it. London Evening Standard, again, um, um, sharing this. This is the president of Liberia congratulating the child prodigies, the world record holder in terms of Cambridge Mathematics, world record holder in terms of the twins that were able to pass their GCSE, world record holder in terms of the students 
Now the school pupils that are able to demonstrate extraordinary ability, smashing literally every test that on their way to know that is essentially for. You, you can go to this website, Young and Exceptionally Gifted Students. Look at here. It's useful for you to look at it. At the age of 10, past 2 GCSEs. At the age of 11, became the world record holder at A-level computing. At the age of 15, at the age of 13, was invited by John Hawkins to do a special program. That's at the age of 13. That's not a mistake. He's on record. At the age of 15, start, uh, uh, called by the University of Oxford to start a degree program. At the age of 17, invited to start a master's and became the youngest master's graduate ever produced by the University of Oxford. This is a website, in, totally independent of what I do or say. Here is the, um, uh, the six year I said earlier, still studying French, still playing, has friends, and you will be really, really shocked to see what your brain is able to do if you are given the guidance. Time Magazine, the famous time, American Time Magazine, published this last year, Mass Genius, solves 100 year old problem. You need to see this. You need to go to the website and say why is it that some people are called geniuses and others are just called normal. It's not the, the brain power. It's due to the exposure, the training. Get all of that and you really need to get it. That's why the, the Time Magazine here clearly says look, mathematical geniuses are not born. They are made or trained. This is the L4 recorder. A name Sarah. You can still go to the info record and Google Sarah and say how she was able to not just pass her GCSE, but when I had got scholarship, scholarship the equivalent of a hundred thousand pounds. So you uh, you can't be kidding and allow your child to write this exam and fail on the basis of ill preparation or being ill informed. Not just not not informed. Oprah Winfrey wanted her on her program to interview her. Sent two different invitations two different times when she heard that Samantha was able to smash the mathematics problems that adults grapple with. Adults cannot deal with it. Then here, there's Joy Mudene from Nonhead in Peckham was able to pick up a GCSE and six different scholarships. Six, not one, not two, not three. Others are just asking for one that she was able to pick. Do you think she was born a genius? Do you think she acquired the skills? You need to find out for yourself. Stop thinking. Just find out for yourself. I'm fine. This is on the BBC website. You can see children 6, 7, 8 taking the GCSE and making it really look like child's play. You can Google it. Everything I'm telling you, you can check it on the website. So get ready for the webinar because this is one of the few webinars. And know that geniuses can be literally brought out of you. We can bring multiple talents out of you and we can literally work with you and hear the facts about it. So celebrate a GCSE password. Metro, Friday, August the 28th, 2009. Have that, look at it, see it for yourself. What else can I say? I need to tell anyone that attends, there will be a draw at the end. There will be a quiz, boys and girls that attend the webinar, there will be a quiz. You will have the opportunity. Those that top, those top scholars will we are very grateful to our partners that have supported uh, us in the past and have supported our research. You will have the opportunity, courtesy of T-Mobile, to win a Samsung Galaxy tablet. So you don't miss out if you attend. You will also have, courtesy of Texas Instrument, a one, one of the most wonderful calculators you can have. So if you participate in the, in the webinar, we're going to have questions at the end. We're going to quiz the boys and girls. So what did you hear to test your comprehension? test whether you're, whether you're keeping attention. A multicolored calculator will be given to you for free if you talk, if you end up scoring the top mark at the end of the class. You, this is a DVD I mentioned earlier on. It, sadly, it's not available to the wider public. It's only available to inner city kids and to registered or subscribed EIE members. So please, there's no point for you to panic about the forthcoming exam. You have seen enough testimonies, you've heard from different sources, different media sources, and you've heard independently to show that there is a secret to passing any and every exam. We need to share the secret with you.
And please just click right there now and make sure you register. Don't miss this webinar for your life because you don't want to disadvantage yourself. Thank you.